Well, this might look pretty bad, but if you saw the last episode, you'd see uh, we just had quite a good little breakthrough in the war. We have lost a lot of men. A lot of very brave men have died in the defense of Byzantium against the Nizarids. But a lot of Nizarids have died as well. And I think that we can make this happen, lads. I really, really do. I don't know exactly if these guys are stuck here. But uh, that's his entire army there. So, we could, if we wanted to, make it a point to um, try to occupy back the war goal. Which is the only reason they really have positive war score. They are now on medium enthusiasm. So, I reckon, if we can just hold out a little bit more, we can make this happen. We can win. We can win this. Never should have doubted it, right? Never should have doubted it. Little bit of attrition. This is mostly to assert our dominance. Ah, nice. No attrition. So, let's get our boys up here. We have the defensiveness edict on. They took a war, uh, a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, disease outbreak. Get in here. Again, shift consolidate. Make sure... You have full strength regiments. It, the zero regiments will be uh, used, put in reserve, so you don't have to worry about them. And there you go. That is an absolute clapping. Yes. Ah, uh, you have to love it. You love to see it. Look at this. Oh my. Okay, I'm uh, taking way heavier losses than I should right there, but that's okay because it's doing that thing where they flee and you get them on the monthly tick. And there you go. I've lost 91,000 Nizreds, 130,000 men. They have 12,000 men left. You know what that means. It's uh, time to get onto our fort and take it back. Let's buy down our war exhaustion just once. Make sure that we are keeping things a little bit um, safe here. And uh, let's get the Navy out again. So, uh, we need to be mindful because Sicily can definitely raid me. Uh. I'm just thinking about how I want to go about this. So, obviously, I don't want you on here. So, let's have you. Let's have you. We need a siege guy. Oh, man. I don't have a siege general. Oh, yeah. I do have you. Okay. Let's have them sit on that siege there. Get get your uh, king off. If your king dies during a siege, that you lose two stability, which is literal garbage. Oh, now these guys are stuck there. Okay. I'm going to take that. That's fine. Our economy is steady it's steady now which is uh kind of nuts and you just got to keep an eye on them because they're going to be building up men there's there's no doubt about that the question is is can they build up men enough or quickly enough to make it count i don't think so they might be coming in to attack me here all right scorch it Let's have you guys detach. Those guys will be there on the 20th. We can be there before that. On the 20th. So we'll reinforce them instantly. And uh, these guys will get destroyed now. And just like that. Very good. Very good. We'll just keep doing that over and over again. If they want to be annoying and like do these harassing things, they're low enough that I, they would allow a peace deal right now. But what I want is to get the ticking war score. That way I can be the one in charge. I am the captain now. Now, I'm going to pull these guys off from hunting and have them blockade to win the siege a little bit quicker. They are going to attack me again. There's nothing I can do to stop that. But yes, once we get this blockaded, I'm going to barrage these walls here. This is the war goal, right? He has ticking war score. He has 16 war score just because he occupies this. So that means if we occupy this, we will have positive war score against the Nizrids. And uh, it will go... It, this is going to go fine for us. Yep, just got to deal with the shenanigans here. Again, be there on the third. As long as I'm there at or before. Shift consolidate. Oh, right. I shift consolidated too early. Shift consolidate after the monthly tick. It's more effective. It's more efficient to uh, refill your manpower. All right. National unrest. Very good. Heck yeah, dude. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Make sure you get your cannons over here on your fort. 14, come on, baby. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, so they'll be there on the 19th again. Uh, those guys can be there before the 19th or on the 19th. So these guys are, uh, you know, making another bad attack over here. There you go. 
and that's a big L for them as well. I'm taking super heavy losses. I will not be able to afford these losses for the for a long for the long term. But me, oh. where are you going, homie? Uh, that is a trap. I am definitely not gonna chase that. Well, I'll chase him with the Mercs. Okay, I lied. We're gonna chase him. They're probably fleeing like over here, right? They can't go far. Yeah, I was gonna say, where are they going? That means they're trapped here. Perfect. Treason. You sons of guns. Give me some professionalism. Let's see here. There you go. Is that a white? Come on now. Milbana. I love me. Milbana, I say. Where are you fleeing to? Oh, come on. I'm getting so... Okay, that's not fair at all. But whatever. We won it. And look at this. 15 war score. So, I could take a province and release Syria from it before anybody literally screeches about it. I got another comment. Like, it's crazy. Guys, I don't have to do any specific, like, pattern of play. The amount of people who comment and say, like, why would you not do this? I cannot believe you didn't play this exactly the way that I would do it. Because I don't have to. You can play the game how you want to play it. There is nobody going to stop. Nobody will stop you. I promise you. Nobody will stop you playing the game and enjoying it how you want to. Now, if I want to, I can take money from them. That would be nice because I do have quite a bit of debt. I don't have that much debt. Uh, matter of fact, I don't have hardly any. What would probably be better is for me to seize these down. But, man, the quantity the, the quantity manpower is really flowing in. Tech cost, cav combat ability. Well, how much money would I be able to get? War reps are going to be useful. Oh, shoot. Really? And I reckon if I occupy a couple of provinces here, I'll be able to make it happen. Let's see here. Yeah, killer army. Oh, the, the, just kidding. They actually have more enthusiasm now. They're feeling better now. They're willing to give me less than before I wiped out their army and was standing on their fort here. What are you talking about? What is going on here? Because they're building up an army? Oh, wow. That's mercs. They got some mercs now. <laughs> All right, whatever, man. So just like that, I just lost like... Yeah, that's stupid. Anyways, I will take that. That is fine with me. We got uh, mana or uh, tech here. Let's see here. Military specialization. Have combat ability, flanking ability, movement speed. That's uh, quite strong. Uh, infantry cost. Leaders without upkeep. That's pretty solid. The Varingian Guard, which gives uh, mercenary maintenance and discipline. Officer Corps, regiment drill loss. Mercenary company, mercenary discipline. And uh, leader cost. National manpower, manpower recovery, and yearly army tradition and leaders of upkeep. Well, do we have any cavalry? We have 10%. Finest of horses. Let me see here. Where's this finest of horses? Is that in my national ideas? Oh, right. That's quality. Uh, Well, I suppose we could lean into that a little bit. Calf flanking, calf combat, movement speed. Let's do that. Let's do it. That sounds good. So that extra mana there is... Uh, or not mana. Um... We're in a good spot. Now, let's see here. Rival, let's rival Crimea. You guys suck. Been a few few setbacks here. Um, these guys are being absolutely just huge jerks. Get rid of those mercs there. Our manpower is gutted. It's going to take quite a few um, months here to recover. And that is okay. i turn my army maintenance down a bit. And make sure I have no forts on that I need because... Or that I don't need, rather. I don't want to pay for them. And uh, now we're chilling. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Going to take a few months to recoup. And I will click this mission soon. Now, if I attack these guys, the Magyars will not help. Really? Well, that just got a lot easier. Now, right as I say I don't want to... Uh, I want to take a break. I decide we're not going to take a break. Moravia here is allied to the Bulgars. Which is uh, okay, I suppose. So yeah, those guys attacked me, and all they ended up getting out of it was some loans, I reckon. Let me pay off my loans, yeah? That's fine. And uh, we can yoink some crown land. We definitely need to. That way keeps us over 30. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to get that mission, but that's okay. Now, these guys here are going to... Oh, nobody's going to have a navy, yeah? Yeah, none of his allies are going to have a navy. I just need to make sure that I attack him before the Magyars offer to help. Yeah, that's fine. I want to get my war exhaustion down. Okay. So we're going to get our army over there soon. 
have you guys come on over here all right and let us let us uh, click this button here which will give us permanent claims on them but it will also more importantly give us a subjugation cb on them as well as these guys over here i'm going to attack these guys because this land is now my property and uh the only people that are in the war are them in moravia and then these lindians who i don't care about either so this should be pretty straightforward yeah they don't have an army eh, they got an army somewhere where i have no idea huh Let's... Oh, there's their army. Well, they have very low morale. It's probably not a wipe. Yeah, not a wipe, but that's fine. Easy peasy. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. So then we'll just uh, get these guys down. And um, we're going to end up needing to piece out his allies separately. It's going to be kind of unavoidable. Make sure you take Miltech here. Colonialism hasn't even spawned yet. Really? They took Expo Expansion. Yep. In order for it to spawn, somebody has to uh, own a province in the New World. They changed that in uh, 1.32, I believe. But yeah. Now you just gotta win some sieges here. These guys are probably gonna be annoying. Try to attack me. They wanna come onto my mountain fort down here. That's fine. You can be my guest. Doesn't bother me any. Speaking of, let's make sure you turn off your edicts because it does cost quite a bit of money. Now, right. Need to state that. That way I can put the um, unrest edict there. That way we can lower the autonomy and uh, start really pumping out that gold income. Because right now you can see we make 1.8 ducats a month from gold. We're going to get that number up way, way higher in the coming years. And uh, it will float our economy. If you get Kosovo early on, Kosovo can be just like an absolute... It, it can literally bankroll your entire country. It's kind of crazy. So, yep. Just need more cannons on these forts here. Oh, wow. We have really good siege ability. Fort and disrepair on his capital? You don't say. How fortunate for us. Free Diplo mana. Sounds good. I suppose I will take that Diplo mana and invest it into a couple of uh, trade goods over here, yeah? There we go. That will increase our trade. Come on, baby. There you go. What are you guys attacking me for, huh? All right. Doesn't seem intelligent, but go off then. There you go. I uh, do not know why you did that, but I won't ask questions. Our level uh, two dev cost guy died. That's very sad. I guess we'll go with the tax guy. He'll help pay for himself, basically. He actually looks like we make money by having him. There's colonialism. So now we need to consider where we want to dev colonialism. We could dev it up here in Nikopol. Oh, we could dev it anywhere. We'll dev it in this uh, Adrianopolis, I believe is what the name of this province is called. Um, that'll be fine. It's literally right next to Constantinople, so it will spread very quickly. So, yeah, sadly, we can't really dev it. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to have to play around with it, see, see what we can come up with. They can occupy a couple of provinces over here. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yes, I do hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. I've been having a heck of a time with 1.6. Antebellum hasn't released quite yet, but I'm uh, I'm very eager for you guys to get the opportunity to uh, play with it. How, oh yeah, this is going to be over very soon. Um, you could go with institution embracement costs. The dev cost will be useful. Construction cost. We'll probably use that. All right. So who else is in this war? Because you can see here. We're not going to be able to subjugate him quite yet. It's going to take a minute. And when is our... So we do not have... We do not. We do not have a truce with Moravia. Or Moldavia, rather. Uh, how long is this last till? 32. Oh. Okay. We got plenty of time for that. Oh, that'll be so easy. We're definitely going to subjugate both of them. We have no allies either because everybody broke friendship with me. I could re-ally these guys and I probably will. It'll be nice to have an ally um, that maybe will defend me. Turns out these guys are not very good allies, huh? <laughs> we should probably boost our stab up at least once. Stab One stab is always nice to have. Uh, let's see here. What's their armies looking like? 12k, 5k. So let's do something like this. Have you guys group up and then have these guys head over there. I don't care about these small stacks sieging these guys down over here. Oh, actually, you know what? It's pretty easy for us to beat up on them. So let's head up here, siege you guys down. Ah, 
I will uh, come up here. That way these guys are not going to be able to reinforce. Yep, this is fine. So this, oh. Wow, I missed it. Son of a gun. Well, either way, that's uh should be a clap. Oh, you ain't kidding. Yikes. Okay. Let's have you guys siege back my stuff here. Meanwhile, these guys are going to come up here and uh Yoink. <laughs> Always, 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 always beat up on the little one stacks if you can. I'm going to re-up uh, St. Michael. That extra manpower recovery is essential for us right now. Um, sure. I will upgrade you. And then I will upgrade you. We'll get over and get these guys off that fort there. The fort in disrepair does apply to them. Good to know. Shoot, man. All right. Make sure you wipe them all out. Always take your 10 to 1s. Ooh, nice. What in the world? 535 five, air? Who's 22? Not bad. I will gladly take that. All right. Let's get these guys together and uh, make sure we do not let them take that back. And our air is a scholar. Absolute legend, man. Is that Justinius, I assume? That's, I assume that's how that's pronounced. Or like, you know, how we would say it with a, in English. These guys just keep on pumping out little one stacks to get wiped. Easy peasy. Look at that. Where are you guys going, huh? Bunyad. Yeah, that's what I thought, idiots. Get bent mate. Now, I'm kind of okay with letting this fall behind. That way we can start really pushing through some, uh, some of those. Now, I will build some more production buildings. That way our economy can be stimulated a wee little bit more. Am I really making that much money from trade? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I also needed to core up Kosovo here, so I will do that. Yep, here we go. Oh my gosh. It's just like such an absolute destruction, man. Look how many men I've lost. 12, 50,000. That's crazy. That is uh, that is actually crazy. So these guys want out. Um, I can actually take war reps from them so and money, so I will. Goodbye, nerds. Those guys got black flagged. So a nice little trick you can do. Oh, these guys got black flag too. Unfortunate. That's okay. All right. Very good. Very good. So we peace out the Nizrids today and it looks like we're going to pick up a subject possibly too. So I no longer have mill access to those guys. So you guys willing to accept peace soon actually? Well, I suppose if that's the case, we might as well attack these guys then for subjugation as well. That is a maintained fort there. So what you do is you have these guys pile up on the border. I might as well get them right here. Attack you for subjugation. He'll call in his allies. Oh, no. Anyways, these guys will split and siege down Bulgaria. Might be able to piece Bulgaria out basically instantly. And uh, make sure you blockade any, any coastal ports you can. They're the only ones in the war. So as long as I got my navy here, they'll do nothing. And uh, we just win this siege ASAP. Let's, uh, got any rebels here that matter? Nah, not really. You basically only want to support them if it's like particularists or like rebels that'll pop in force. You can really, you can really subvert some nations. It doesn't seem strong because it's not. But uh, sometimes, sometimes you can get some really, really beefy, um, uh, whatchamacallits subversions from these guys. All right, so let's get you guys over here. Well, first of all, we should probably peace out his allies. So let's peace out his allies. They're over here taking back Kosovo again. Gosh dang it. <laughs> They're relentless about Kosovo. It's a honeypot. They always go for it, man. All right. Let's have you guys come on over here. Siege back Kosovo so I can core it. Yeah. Convert some provinces as well. Especially since we got our religious strength now. I will core you up. Oh, right. Bulgaria has a core there. So, Bulgaria, we're going to have to peace out. So, we'll win this siege. We'll get those guys off there. Easy enough, yeah? There you go. We'll now subjugate you guys. They'll be a little mad, but that's okay. They're actually loyal. Huh. Good stuff. Muscovy. Hello, Muscovy. Let's, um... 
Make sure you improve relations with your subjects. Sicily no longer a valid rival. Which is crazy to me. Crimea, let's send them a scornful insult. Let them know that they suck and that we hate them. Get some PP. And then uh, I definitely need to embargo them as well. This is grassland, so let's put a general on you. Head on in. They have no general, so that should be a st 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 stack wipe. All right, Bulgaria. Can I annex you? I could. I will. Yep. Screw you. You guys suck. You deserve that. Cleans up the borders a bit as well. I know you guys like clean borders. You filthy role players, right? <laughs> the siege over here is going entirely too long. Innovativeness is solid. Half, tra half off trade guy is dead, unfortunately. All right. You guys are dead. So let's get you out of the war here. You will give me your money. And uh, yeah, sounds good to me. Oh. Unrest culture conversion in the Thrace area. That's fine because I can culture convert this province now, right? It has separatism for how long? Two more years. So we're good. Let's uh, come on over here and get these guys occupied ASAP. So we're going to pick up a little bit of uh, of territory here. Moldavia is actually three provinces outside of their initial starting provinces, which is great. Oh, hello there. It's a free cavalry for me to kill. Sounds good. And so now you just loot them. Oh, you siege them down. Easy peasy, right? That's a good little Wallachia. So Wallachia has uh, eco offensive, discipline and fort defense, as well as diplo rep. I'm going to make Wallachia march. Moldavia has Diplo, Eco, Morale, Improved Relations. So I'm not going to march them, but Wallachia, I will march. And uh, I'll show you a nice little trick that you can use. Because uh, we're going to need to attack the Nizrids soon. Um, it's very clear to me that they are not getting weaker. We are getting stronger, but uh, they will outpace us with... Uh, just based on, you know, how strong of a nation they are. Alright, so let's see here. Let's get up here. Get those guys out of the war. Civil War, huh? And uh, let's have you guys come on over here. Siege them down. And uh, as soon as I can, we'll be able to get everybody out of the war here. Now we got some rebels. Son of a gun. All right, I'm going to have to go handle them. Luckily for us, they are on a fort here. So let's get you guys down there. These guys, I will have come on over and uh, siege down this Vladimir. We might be able to just piece them out by getting on their capital. Possibly. Oh, shoot. Those guys are fleeing over here. Oh. Oh, hello. All right, Vladimir. Goodbye. Yay, idiots. Hopefully I don't get black flag. Ah, I got black flag. Unfortunate. This is fine. Uh, nice little trick. Oh, nice. We'll lose a stab. Um, there's a nice trick where if you um, walk onto a province that you have occupied, you will get on black flag. For some reason, I got on black flagged already. Money for burger loyalty sounds good to me. Those guys are now handled. Very good. Um, half off trade guy. Yes, please. Absolutely. Thank you. And there you go. Moldavia also now joining the fold. Bit of AE, but uh, you know what? I'm okay with it. So here's the nice thing. Allies will decline calls to arms from time to time. Subjects. Subjects are forever, my friends. So I'm going to march these guys. Let's uh, wait for that yearly repair or yearly improved relations tick. There you go. Hey, look at that. You guys will become a march. The defensive. Oh, they have offensive. They have fort, dis fort defense built in. So take a look at this. This is a grasslands province, but local for oh, local fortifications. Uh, so even in for minus 50 from fort disrepair, it's base of minus 10 because they have plus 40. So every province that I occupy, so if I come over here and I occupy this province, um, it will be 40, even though it's dryland, so it should be zero, right? These, obviously, they have modifiers for defensiveness and whatnot, but that's really good. So subjugate the Vlax. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. We got that done in one foul swoop. And uh, get some permanent claims over here, as well as liberty desire from subjects development, as well as some diplo mana. Very good. Magnadacia. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. 
So perhaps we want to actually go up there and I could give that clay to uh, these guys. They are actually, we don't have a truce with them. Well, I don't think I can deny myself this opportunity. So yeah, let's go ahead and <laughs> declare war on my former ally. Kiev is in this war, but uh, for some reason, Kiev has like no army. So we're going to head right on over there. Let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets. Who's got the Navy? Oh, Venice joined. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, what's their Navy looking like? They have some galleys here. All right. So, yeah, we got to be... I'm going to actually have to micro this a little bit. But, uh, lads, I think that's a great place to call it. A bit of uh, growth here today. Look at that player map mode. Starting to look good. We're going to have to build up because the Nizrids are going to want to attack us again soon. So, I need to uh, finish up this war, find a friend, and then figure out what we can do here. So I'm going to take basically all of this land, well, as much as I can, definitely the forts, give it to him, and uh, we'll make it work. If you guys are enjoying the campaign, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, don't forget, ding the bell when you subscribe, you'll get notifications, but if that doesn't work for you, you can join the Discord, where we do send out pings, as well as there's just some cool community over there. I also have a subreddit if you want to post some memes over there, and I have a Twitter if you want to follow me. Don't forget to support on Patreon if it is within your means. Patreon support is uh, kind of what allows me to do what I do full-time, and uh, if you want to support... That's the best way to do it. Link is in the description below. Also, I haven't mentioned it in a while. Check out Antebellum, Antebellum's Discord. And uh, if you're interested in checking out uh, Runite's um, music on uh, Spotify, check it out on Spotify. It's also linked in the description because this music is all uh, original. He made it specifically for the mod, and it's really well done, guys. I really cannot recommend you check out his music enough. I listen to it in my own spare time. It uh, gets me in the mood to play some of you for. But yes, that's all I got for you for today, lads. This is Chibi Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.